a new version of MAMP uh, and MAMP Pro has been released. We have now reached re version 3. I will show you how to use that and I will also install WordPress. So begin by going to MAMP.info and then clicking the download link. Here you'll see this says MAMP and MAMP Pro. So you'll get a MAMP Pro 14 day trial version with it. So just click download and as you see I already downloaded it right here and it's in my downloads folder or Nedlasting which is in Norwegian so what I'm going to do I'm going to go into then the, my programs as you see it says MAMP old here basically if you already have an earlier version of MAMP installed add an extra name to it so there won't be overwritten so I'm just adding old and then I'll go ahead and then install the new version of MAMP. One uses MAMP to create a local development site or different sites uh, so I'll create my sites on my own computer through MAMP and I will upload them with a duplicator to a domain where I have then the sites. So here's the install process. Just click continue. And just kind of continue through, agree, and install. Put in your password for your computer and then install software. So after this has been installed, I am then going to take my existing content from MAMP2, which I have a lot of different sites. I need to take the sites and I also need to take the database and copy that into the new MAMP3 folder. And that's a fairly easy process. You just do a copy and paste. Okay, it's been installed. Close it. And here's the MAMP old and the new MAMP and then the MAMP pro. So I'll go into MAMP old copy htdocs which then contains various sites copy that and copy the database command c and also remember that this will be available on windows pc as well as i as noticed it was in beta so new map and then the command v just paste it right in and as you see there's a lot of objects here and it will just replace the empty htdocs and it will replace whatever empty this is just empty as well so replace all and replace and this takes a little bit of time because there's a lot of objects in there I'll just put on pause oh so it's almost finished to copy it over and there it's copied over and when I check htdocs it's now then filled with my earlier sites so if you're new to MAMP and have not used MAMP before, uh, you would not obviously do these steps of taking content from MAMP to placing it in MAMP 3. So this folder will then be empty for you. So right now I'm going to install WordPress. Go to wordpress.org and then download WordPress, the newest version available. And as you see, I've already done that right here show in finder and uh, here is my downloads folder I will go into htdocs which is then the root folder and this is where I will place WordPress I'll double click to unzip I'll drag this over and just drop it right into htdocs give it a name um, I'm gonna call it another test since I already have a test folder in here so then the, this is just the raw WordPress files. So I'll go to MAMP, which is right in here. Here you can see the MAMP. I'll just double click to open it up. It automatically starts the servers and if it doesn't do that, just click start servers. And what happens then is that the start page for MAMP will open up and you'll get a map has been installed successfully and you'll also get this green 
color right here to show that both are then active. I'm going to do a quick look through your preferences here. And basically start stop, as you can see what it says. Ports, here's a port, Apache port, MySQL port, and you also see the port number right here. PHP, standard version, I'll just leave it as it is, Apache. Here you can change the document root, because htdocs is where the root for your various documents. And this can be changed if you want to, but I like to leave it in htdocs. So anytime you need to open up the start page, you can do so by going here and just clicking open start page. The information you get, there's some information about host, port, user, and password. This is the information you need when installing, for instance, WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, or other CMS software. So to go to the root, one needs to then remove everything after the last eight. And right now I'm in the root, I'm in htdocs. If you haven't uh, used uh, MAMP2 before, you'll just have then the test folder or whatever WordPress folder you, you named it in here. I have various earlier sites I've created. And another test is right here. I'll just click that and we'll go through the install process of installing WordPress. So I need to create a configuration file. And here it says I need a database name. So we need to create a database for the new WordPress installation. So how do we do that? We'll go back and open up a new start page. And we'll go to tools. And under that, we'll create a new database under PHP My Admin. So we need to go to databases, database name. I'm just going to call it VP New Test. I need to remember that name. I'll go, for instance, copy it and then create. And here it is, VP New Test. So we'll go back to startup configuration for WordPress. Click Let's Go. The database name was then VP New Tests. And I can always go back to check the name of it by opening up the start page and then going to PHP My Admin, which is right here, and checking the list here. Okay, back to WordPress. Username was root. It was mentioned here that username, user, root, and password, root. So that's what we're going to do. Password root database um, host was local host, what it says. Table of prefix for better security, tighter security, you would just rename to this to something else. But for this test, I'm just going to leave it as VP underscore. Submit. Okay, so information is ready. Now we can just install it. So, site name. Uh, another word, WordPress site, call this whatever you want to call it. Username, uh, I'll just use my name, Joachim. Password, one, two, three, four, five. You should have something a lot better than this. One, two, three, four, five. My email, because you'll get an email uh, letting you know that you have a new install of WordPress. Privacy, I will allow the search engines to index my site. I'll do that. Install WordPress. So now we can just log in. Username, Joachim, one, two, three, four, five. I'll uh, log in. And here it is. Here's the new install of WordPress.